All right, got a quick update on the 2240 and the 1322 Crossman. Um, I removed another video um, earlier, I guess uh, last month there, and I don't have an editing program or anything. I just kind of film it from the phone. But um, this one here is, uh, I guess, an update on both. Uh, since the first one, um, the 2240, I have pretty much added the 10 inch barrel from the 1322, the stock one. Um, Polished all the internals, polished the tube, the um, um, polished the um, barrel, all the internals, trigger, the sear, the hammer, and uh, you know shimmed it, aligned it, did the same treatment as uh, as the 1322. Um, I just didn't polish the whole handle itself, the whole uh, piece. But uh, what else? Um, I uh, added the steel breech the Tasco red dot sight I machined this guy here from this just a hardened bolt and uh, yeah it's uh, pretty nice I think for a first attempt basically stuck it in the drill put it in the vise and uh, made a mini lathe uh, the method worked before another uh, project so I decided to do it on this one um, yeah oh yeah the last thing I made sorry was this uh, little shroud um, no it's not a suppressor so don't get your panties in a bunch. Um, it's got two brass fittings in there. This is a penny that's kind of pressed in there. Um, has the, the, the hole is drilled out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Polished up and looks pretty. Um, so that's that. Um, basically the grips that I have on order are American Walnut um, Black, I think they're called. Uh, they're the full version that extend and follow the whole contour. Uh, a little bit wider, nicer grip, a little bit fatter for the guys with bigger hands. And uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty much finishing off the gun. Oh yeah, I also polished the, uh, the band. But uh, I guess um, the total for this gun um, now, uh, the gun was $100 um, ordered. Um, the grips are, I think they're... Well, the other ones were 60 but the ones that I really want and I put on order, the price went up a bit. Uh, they're 85 It's a little expensive, but whatever. Um, this was 60 50 for the um, the uh, red dot sight. I ordered the extended uh, bolt probe for it. Just had to pick it up when the handles come in and uh, transfer this guy over. But the with the gun and, and all the parts, total is going to be, you know, 300 or sorry, um, 400 and some change so it's uh, it adds up pretty quick when you uh, <laughs> get these stupid guns but uh, they're fun it's a fun hobby anyways uh, ramble on too much more um, the last video uh, I'm not sure what was on there but I didn't have a pump panel I didn't have this uh, shroud I didn't have the uh, bipod and I don't think I had the scope actually I don't think I had very much anything on here I just had the stock without the cordage and uh, I think I had my, my smaller muzzle brake and my st stock pump arm. So I guess we'll go over real quick what I have. Um, again, uh, I got the, uh, the Stoger 3 by 9 by 40 um, parallax scope. It's a great little scope. Uh, it's 110 bucks with the rings at Cabela's. Mind you, these are all Canadian prices. Um, the steel breech is 60, you know, 25 for 28 for the stock. Four bucks for the cord, thirty or uh, I think it was actually I think it was forty for the pump handle. The bipod's almost a hundred, but uh, I got a really good deal and brought that number down to I think it was fifty something bucks. And uh, the barrel was twenty seven, I think it was. The extended bolt probe was thirty five to forty bucks, and the rest was just time, which uh, which is no problem because uh, if you enjoy doing this. Time is nothing. So, um, so the the whole gun, including you know the price, was a hundred and ish and change, same as this one. Um, it's six hundred and forty ish dollars into it, six fifty, six forty, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a uh, it shoots straight every time. I never have a problem. It loves every pellet I put in there, um, except a couple, but uh, won't mention those. Um, I've been shooting these Discoveries, 14.3 grain, hollow points, and uh, the, my rifle, the uh, gas ram conversion one, the Benjamin Classic 22, um, she loves those, 
shoots them straight. Um, so does this, and so does this one. So I've it's 13 bucks a tin for 500, and uh, otherwise I've been shooting, you know, a bit of everything. I tried these uh, piranhas out, um, 14.3 grain, same thing, not too bad. Shoots them pretty good. The standard Hollow Point Premier Crossman. Um, well, what the heck is this one? Oh, these are X Hunts. These guys right here, 15.7 4 grain. Likes those. Uh, the pointed, ah. Uh, you know, the Crossman here, this one shoots them pretty good, but the rest of them doesn't. Um, yeah, just all your standard shit, but uh, these are the Daisies. Um, hollow points. It uh, it shoots those. They're, they're a shitty pellet. They're filthy. So, I don't know, they come at Cabela's. They're like $9 for 500 Go figure. But uh, whatever. I use them to plink and just uh, shoot through the crony. Uh, and then this one here is the uh, four of these I got in a pack, uh, the Gamels. They're 25 bucks or so. And they're all, what are they, 15? Yeah, 15, four, two grain. There's a pointed for hunting, uh, both pointed. I have a dome one and I have a heavy one, a 21.6, I think, 21.64 or something grain. And uh, those are domed. Um, not so bad, but the dome ones that come in that kit, um, all the guns love. But that's pretty much it. Um, not much more to talk about. That's the cost to, to build these things. Um, if you want, you know, that's a little bit of discount on some of the parts. And uh, a couple of custom things you can do yourself to save money. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the next video, I'll try to have uh, uh, a video with the new bull probe. Um, with this lever installed onto the new probe. Uh, the extended one. And the new grips. After that, I'm gonna, you know, just shoot them again and uh, maybe put a few videos of that, see the accuracy. Um, I know this one here, I can shoot, uh, I think it's about 85 to 90 feet, but uh, a good average is about 75 feet I, I have it sighted in for, where my targets are set up. And on playing cards, I can hit the diamond and keep it within that group. So to me, that's, uh, you know, whatever the size that is, I think it's about a dime. One of these guys will just say about the size of this, a little bit bigger, but it can hit that every time, which is awesome, with the occasional flyer, obviously. Um, I got the rifle doing the same thing uh, with the gas conversion. Um, loves it, but uh, that's, that's pretty much it. All right, next time.